Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Join me for this movie. We're going to build this house really quickly. We're going to start with a blank file. We're going to import the plan. We're going to import the site plan. We're going to get this house underway in a really short space of time. I made a project like this for my students when I'm teaching Archicad to show them how quickly they could build their project. The reason was I was trying to get them to do more work on their concept plan because you'll notice that once my concept plan is finished and I import it and scale it, it is really quick to build the 3D model. Now it does look like it's very quick to do this work. And what I'm hiding, of course, is the fact that I spent hours thinking about the form of the building, thinking about the size of rooms, all that sort of stuff. That plan is a PDF and it's stored in, on my computer. So let's just go find that. Here it is here, it's my search copy. So I'm gonna drag that in. So you just drag and drop it. And I just want to import page two. So what gives, this gives me is my PDF or my site. And it's rotated the wrong way around. North is that way. I want north straight up the page. I'm gonna use my rotate tool. So that from this corner, click up to here, click and rotate that around 90 degrees. Click there. I'm gonna crop this now. So double click on this to create a crop. And I'm gonna use a rotator rectangle. So there's my rotator rectangle that way. I wanna create a rotator rectangle about there. I think I just wanna crop that off just to make it a little bit easier for me to see. I don't wanna see all the other stuff that's there. I need a north arrow. So dims and notes tool set and a north arrow. And I like configuration number four. There it is, configuration number four. And click to place it. And click once again for the rotation. Now I do want to increase the scale a wee bit of this. So make that two times. And I do need to check the size of this. Now this is a raster PDF. When I zoom in, you'll notice it looks like it's dotty. I do need to scale it though. So modify on the menu bar, scale objects and I need to measure something. So let's measure something from here. I use my Z key a lot to zoom in temporarily. Click. And the Z key again. There, click. And the distance is, I just need to read that, 22.93 M for meters. Okay. So that gives me my sights. Now my sight is now the correct size. Just put my north arrow somewhere out of the way. There it is. I've got my north arrow. I've got my sight. And let's bring those back into this area here. Let's just check my active layer scale. 1 to 100 is good. And let's check my page area. I want this to be A3. So let's go any printer and A3. And landscape. OK. Okay, so you notice that that's not going to fit. So when I come to do drawings, I'm going to have to look out for that. Now I do need to have an offset of one meter around here. So I'm going to use my polygon tool. I'm just going to create a, an offset here. So Z, so there, there, here, here as well, there, there, and I'll finish here. So I need to create a one meter offset. This is for building control. Uh, and I'm going to use this option here, offset the original. Now, if I want a copy of the on the line, I will. So I've got it offset to a meter. Let's have a look just up there. Yeah, so it's offset by a meter, click. And there's my offset. Now I can import my house. Now here's my house design here. Let's drag that in. That's a image file. So there it is there. I can still crop this object and I can crop it by double clicking on it. I'm going to use my rect rectangle tool again, this time corner to corner. And I'm going to go from there down to here. Because I want to hide the rest of it. I don't really need the rest of it. OK, let's exit that. There it is. Now I need to rotate this parallel to this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edge of that rectangle that I just put in there. So put it there, use my rotate tool, click, click and place it there. And not straight up the page. So that means that this is going to be a sunny area. Maybe I need to move this down the boundary a little bit. So I'm just going to move it along there. I need to give myself a little bit of room for the eaves or the roof. 
because I the eaves can't go through this one meter line here so far so good but it would be a lot easier if I worked in a orthogonal way so up here I've got the ability to make that change or to rotate my plan so click there click there rotated my plan now it's going to be a lot easier to work but super easy if I save this so let's save this and call it rotated plan I'm not saving the layer I'm not saving the class visibility and this just means that when I go back to a top plan view let's go key 5 and double click on rotate a plan it just zooms me around sweet okay so what's next okay so the next thing I need to do is to create my floor so I'm going to use this tool here the rectangle tool I'm going to create some rectangles and then I'm going to add those rectangles together later on now I haven't scaled this plan I think it's about the right size but I should really check before we go too far and from there to that point let's make that a little bit bigger let's just zoom in just a tiny bit bigger so these grids should actually be half a meter so I'm going to measure those so click there to start oh it's pretty close one meter one and a half meters that's close enough for my plan so I've got all these parts here so let's select all of those right click let's add surface it joins them all together I can use this shape to create my walls really quickly so right click create objects from shapes I can use walls on the right side and click OK and it'll create walls that I can use this object here right click create objects from shapes this wants to be my floor so I can create a slab for that and if I want to I can delete the source shape so I won't have to put up with that polygon any, anymore this is now a slab right click send to back so there's my slab underneath there it's actually underneath this as well and I should really create some classes to hide this information so let's create a new class now I could import classes from a standard like this but I'm going to create a new one site dash scan and OK and that'll allow me to hide this so if I go here and I assign that object to site scan and then I go OK let's hide that you can see I've now lost my building this is my site itself I could put that on the site boundary class uh, but I'm not going to so I need to bring my scan back because I need to know where to put my doors and windows so let's put some doors in it's the building shell tool set I need to find the door object so I'm just going to grab a door I'm just going to place a door in first so there's a door there on a door there I need another door on this side about there as well and I need some doors here so I need a door there and another door here as well I can drag these doors along till they touch like that and I can also drag a copy of this door along here and then change it really quickly go up to here so this is a swing door we're going to make it a single swing and we're going to make it 900 there it is there and drag that along and at the moment these doors uh, if I just come down to find the leaf they're all glass doors which is great when I change to a 3d view and I'll just spin my view around a little bit and let's have a look at this from a rendered view so there we are there's a rogue door over there let's just get rid of that and so you can see I'm starting to develop my plan back to a top plan view which is command 5 or key 5 don't forget we can also use our quick save view so let's go back to that view let's go back there we are let's go back to rotate a plan so quick I'm not going to put those double doors there and we're going to put in a window and the window settings I want the window to be not very wide 400 wide height 1800 2100 again and let's put one of those in here now it didn't take my site my measurements so I'm just going to change it there and actually I want to change its position so I'm going to go set position so measured from there down to there I want that to be 150 millimeters or six inches and it just moves my window up so it's in the right place if I want more of those windows 
I can use the option in the command or the control and alt key click on that window it gives me a copy of the window I can put one there so I click there that's one of my windows I need another one here another one here and so on another window there another window there I need bigger windows here so I'm going to put a bigger window there and then once the window is selected make it wider now let's have a look at a 3d view of this I'm just going to spin the view around it's starting to look reasonable so it's a rogue window again and let's create a roof so now it's time to put the roof on now what I'd like to do is to start hiding some of this information so let's hide the site scan and this is my site boundary so let's create a new class we're going to import a class we're going to look for site and we're looking for site boundary and I'll choose that one site boundary existing and I'm going to hide that so I can hide that so now you can see my floor slab underneath there it is select all of our walls so landmark architectural and let's create a roof it's a vertical eaves 25 degrees the bearing height two and a half meters there it is and I'm going to click on that handle there make that one a gable make this one a gable as well and I think that'll do just a couple of gable roofs and then I want to select all of my walls using my select summer again so click on the wall selects all my walls and then landmark architectural fit walls to objects and OK so now my walls are fitting to my roof and there's my project well underway in a short space of time so if you like this movie please give me a thumbs up it really helps other people to find my movies and hit the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I make a new movie. Thanks for watching.